We're talking about a Doom Tower Champion. Yes, not hard, but normal. Something I thought I'd pretty much never talk about, ever. There have been some good champions, do not get me wrong, but for the hard mode dungeons, Dragon 10 specifically, the fact that we found a champion that no one really talks about ever that's useful in Dragon 10 is kind of crazy, so let's just dive straight into it. What up team, it's Mamba Rank here, back with a Rage Shadow Legends video talking about Dragon Hard Mode Stage 10. The champion in question is going to be the 8th, if I'm not mistaken, reward from the normal Doom Tower as far as champions from those secret rooms, that is Liberga, the Orc Epic Based Support Champion, Void Affinity, what does she do? Let's talk about it. We have a passive here. This is the key. When attacked, has a 50% chance of increasing the duration of all poison debuffs on the attacker by one turn. No cooldown. No, no cooldown. This is huge. Why is this huge? Because the dragon's fast. He's attacking often, giving you an awesome chance to extend. But that's not all. We have an A2 ability on a 3 turn cooldown with a 100% chance of placing 2 poisons and a poison sensitivity. We have an A1 with a 60% chance when fully booked of, of applying a single poison. And then we have 2 buffs. Why are 2 buffs good? You already guessed it, the most common wave clear champion in the game is going to be Seer for those who are looking to get these quick runs in for the brand new dragon dungeon. On top of that, her stats are pretty damn good, if I may say so myself. 17,000 health, not the best health, but it's probably just below average. 1,046 defense, respectable, 101 speed, and depending on the team you go with, you may or may not want speed for this champion, and then the attack is not going to matter at all for this. So now I'm gonna show you the clip of the actual run, the stats, huge shout out to one of my clan mates that brought this up to me really smart person they've actually done quite a few teams so maybe we're going to see even more i'm probably going to mention a few of the champions that they talked about for sure here but let's take a look at the team we have stoutus we have ghostborn of course the void epic doom tower champion that we're talking about kaimar and then finally seer here so let's play the run let's look at it here nothing going to be too crazy about the wave clearing sections of this video as we can all pretty much expect here just gonna go through debuff defense down one shot the waves if you're having a hard time one shotting the waves you can tune the speed so you're getting that extra increased defense buff to add so your seer is quite comfortably doing this let's take a look at the poisons here every time the dragon does in fact take a turn here you will see that the duration is going up which is huge absolutely huge 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 for sure here extending the buffs getting tons and tons of more damage here and of course stealthus if you're not sure about stealthus we'll just go over stealthus's kit really quickly so this is the team before i talk about stealthus we'll go over the speeds in case you want to replicate this because you have the champions 155 speed on stealthus that's the ai setup 305 speed for a kaimar ghostborn's 242 speed seer 195 ton of crit damage first of all is his seer's bonkers you don't need this high crit damage by any means but this guy has a crazy crazy seer for sure and finally the last champion 155 speed and as we saw from the video we are using stone skin gear for that extra layer of protection to make sure we are in fact surviving so now that we talked about the new champion we have to talk about stoutus dragon bane what is he adding to the team is it insignificant no it is not insignificant but do you need this guy absolutely not you can use corvus you can use pretty much any poison you have on your team as long as the dragon is hitting this new doom tower void epic champion it's extending the buffs or has the chance to at least here so what we're really focused on is going to be the passive untarnished by stultus whenever an enemy attempts to place weaken defense down or of course poison reflects them back onto the attacker now this is going to be for stoutus dragon bane himself it does not apply to allies at all 
And then his other kit, we could talk about it, but it doesn't really matter. The main use here is the passive, getting hit by the dragon, reflecting the poisons back to the dragon, and at the same time having it also hit this epic champion we're talking about in this video here, further extending those debuffs. So really, really good synergy. And another champion that's quite surprising that someone else in my clan started talking about is going to be Helior. This guy can fill up the entire dragon bar if you tune it properly. Why is that? Because of his A3 ability that once booked can be a three turn cooldown. But if you have a debuff extender similar to either Corvus or this epic we're talking about, just take a look at this. Transfers all debuffs from all allies. So unlike Staltus, it's just the four from him. Now we're transferring all the debuffs, then attacks with the default skill. And then of course, in the bottom, the high point of converting resistance into accuracy, making things so much easier to gear wise. So never did I thought I'd see the day for where A, I was talking about a Doom Tower champion from the normal rotation that you can unlock that is viable and has a viable spot. Of course, Dark Hail is good, but this is kind of a little bit different here. And then never did I think we'd talk about Helior this champion here so lots of cool stuff of course he also provides additional survivability because as we know the dragon does hit quite hard so all you have to do is survive the first hit with the help of this guy's shield your team's going to be debuffed you're going to transfer those debuffs from your entire team onto the dragon use some type of extension skill or have this doom tower champion on your roster and you can do some crazy things so the good news for these teams is you kill the dragon super super fast it just comes down to dealing with the waves in the end so if you do have a seer you're going to be sitting pretty if you don't have a kaimar of course you're probably going to add like 20 to 25 maybe even 30 seconds to the run but if you have a seer you have helior you have Staltis. You have someone like a Corvus or this Doom Tower Epic, you're looking at 25 second runs. Probably even faster with Helior. I haven't seen too many people trying this champion out, so I'm quite curious to give it a shot myself. I do have, I believe, one of these guys. I can just check the faction ring really, really quickly here. Where are we? Faction Guardians. He is a banner lord, I think. Yeah, so I have two. So I wouldn't empower this champion. i am just leave it at two, even though I probably could spare the empowerment. But we're not going to be pressed for stats because we already talked about Elior's skills here. So ton of new champions. The new dungeon kind of unlocked, surprisingly, so many new champions that we don't really see. Staltis, he's been good, but for endgame players, not so much. And stage 10, of course, is going to be a rather endgame thing. And then we have Helior, who... Who, right? That's the word. Who? Where do we use him? Where has he been used to success? Of course, there are places for sure, but this strong? I don't think so. And then finally, this Doom Tower Epic Champion. Granted, it's very late in the cycle, but if you haven't been playing for a while in the Doom Tower, you are endgame, and the endgame player should be farming stage 10 of hard mode dragon only. It is going to be very likely that you have, or you're close to getting, Liberga from all of the secret rooms and keys and fragments just by doing your monthly rotations of the normal Doom Tower, and you can use this incredible asset to your advantage on top of that this champion actually looks really cool i can't i'm not gonna lie this champion looks extremely extremely cool now unfortunately for my account i wouldn't be using this champion because i have corvus who pretty much does this but better there's no 50 percent chance however it is also not every single turn so there is kind of a downside to it so in case you missed some of my other videos and you aren't familiar with corvus What's the ability I'm talking about? It's going to be this A2 here. Attacks all enemies. The first hit increases the duration of debuffs by one turn. The second hit increases the duration of all buffs by one turn. So this is going to be my swap in option. But the fact that if you pair the Doom Tower Epic with the right champion, it's going to be even better than Corvus the Corruptor. One thing to keep in mind, like we saw in the video, they use Stultus. 
Stalt is not only important for applying additional poison to the boss, so the epic has someone to extend, but they have to be tanky enough to survive once the remaining three or four champions used die, which they probably will, so the dragon just starts taking turns, burning through the poisons, and then eventually dying from the raw effect. So whoever that champion is going to be that's tanky, you need them in regeneration gear and probably immortal gear as well to ensure they are going to survive that. They're probably not going to be suited for stone skin unless you can really fill up that poison debuff bar pretty much with someone like a Heliore giving it all 10 debuffs right away, doing tons and tons of damage to that boss. So that was a really quick video. We talked about the epic. We talked about a few other champions that have proven to have really, really strong synergy. Let me know what you guys think. Who else have you guys been using to your success? Who has surprised you so far? I know there are a few people that are using Dark Kale. Dark Kale is definitely good, and you can probably pair both of those champions together for sure. Having a quick look at Dark Kale's kit, 75% chance of placing three poisons and poison sensitivity, decreasing the crit rate, giving you crit protection for sure, and he also has a one-turn debuff extension. The issue is, and why I would be very careful if when trying to pair this champion with the Void Epic we've been talking about is Dark Kale isn't tanky as we can see 14,000 health 1000 defense you can give him regeneration you can give him immortal gear but you would need some crazy crazy gear to pull this off i'm just gonna tell you right now i've seen the builds for people using this champion and they have to be supported by at least somebody else because i mean if you have crazy gear go for it but to pair the two champions we're talking about together it's going to be difficult so i would aim to use one of the more tanky options if you do have it available to you for sure so that's going to conclude this video here today like i said let me know in the comments who you are using that you find very unique to the dragon stage 10 or any stage that you are in fact progressing on as always if you enjoy this content smash that like button subscribe turn the notification bell and i will see you all in my next upload